What's going on guys? So we are out here with my daughter's Lexus NX200T. This is her compact four-door SUV. Very nice little vehicle. In the last video, you saw that we installed a two-inch receiver hitch here on the back, courtesy of eTrailer. And the reason for this is actually multiple reasons. One, if she wants to carry a little cargo rack on the back, because she's going to be moving relatively soon and it gives her extra utility there. Also, because she likes to go bike riding. Her and her fiance spend quite a bit of time riding their bikes. So this permits them a very convenient way of hauling bikes around. Now, the challenge is finding the right bike rack without busting the bank. And there are a lot of really good ones, including the Inno rack that I showed you guys in a previous video. But that rack was upwards of $500 and it's out of the price range of what most people might consider to be an affordable bike rack. And some people may not opt to get it just because of that. So in this video, I want to share with you a product that was sent to me by eTrailer that falls into a much more affordable category. But most importantly, and this is probably the single best reason to look at it, it's super lightweight. So hang tight. I'll be right back. So here it is. This is the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Model HR4200. Again, I want to give a big shout out to eTrailer, who is my official channel sponsor for providing this for review and evaluation. What is nice about this platform rack, well, first of all, the fact that it is packaged very well, it's very lightweight, and there's not a lot of components to it. So essentially, you only have two pieces that come in the package. You have this bottom part here, this U-shaped piece with the receiver hitch on it, and then you also have this portion right here, which just sets on top, and then the bolts and washers that fasten the two together. Then that's pretty much it. You have a bag that's going to have a nice security lock so when this is in place in your receiver it is less likely to be tampered with and then you're also going to have a bolt here which will thread in and it basically keeps this thing from wiggling when it's on the back of the vehicle very very cool but again it's really special about this platform rack is how light it is so the inno rack that i showed you in a previous video is roughly 50 pounds it's pretty heavy and it's a little cumbersome to put in the back of the vehicle or to pull out and get it in and out of storage because of that weight and the bulk. This is far more compact and it weighs only about 20 pounds. So it's easily able to be maneuvered around. It's easily able to be put in storage, pulled out of storage and put on the back of the vehicle, which is a huge perk and another great reason to look at this rack from Hollywood. Now, the final reason is the price. This is under $200 and it's a platform rack and it's relatively compact and it also folds out of the way when you're not using it. But let's get this thing installed on the vehicle so you can see how it looks. Now you guys know me, I dread using tripods, so I'm gonna try to do this all with one hand. And again, this thing only weighs about 20 pounds, so I shouldn't have any problem at all. There you go. Just need to thread in the anti-rattle pin slash bolt, thread it in place, and we should be good to go. Super compact, super lightweight. Can definitely appreciate that. So now we're down here beside the receiver and where it would insert. I'm simply gonna take my anti-rattle pin, which essentially has threads here that thread into the side of this insert, and it pulls it tight against the side of the receiver to keep it from rattling. I'm just gonna insert that like that, tighten it into place. So it comes with this nifty wrench right here that you'll use to tighten down this bolt, which keeps the rack assembly from rattling once it's tight. I think that's tight enough for what we're gonna be doing. And you can see, once that's in place, it doesn't move at all. Now I have the pin, and the pin's simply gonna insert right here. And then you have your locking cap, which would go over the end right here, and then you can lock it up just to prevent it from walking away from you whenever you're out on the trail. Next step is to raise the center bar right here. So all you have to do is see this piece right here, raise this up, slide this portion down right here, tighten that down, like that, and you are ready to start loading the bikes, almost. Next thing I'm gonna do is pull these straps out. Like so. Let me get these straps out first. Let 
So again, because I refuse to use a tripod, I'm gonna do this all with one hand. What you wanna do is make sure that the gear on your crank is facing away from that center post to properly get the bike to fit on the rack. So I got the bike positioned like so. I'm gonna lift it over and set it on this area right here. So I have the bike positioned the way I want it right now. I simply have to get my center clamp here to clamp around the tube right there. There we go. Let's feed this through. Okay. Now we have one bike on, just have to get the second one on. Again, you want your crank gear facing you on this one, because it's going on the opposite side. There we go, that one's now on. We're gonna grab this second clamp right here, lean the bike towards us, rotate this around, and kind of twist it like there. There we go, got both bikes on. Next and final step really is to clamp the tires in place. Like that. And there you have it. We got both bikes mounted on the back. Very stable setup. And we also have the hitch bolt in place that's tightened down to keep it from rattling and moving around. It's rated to hold two 30 pound bikes, so 60 pounds worth of bicycles. I think this one weighs about 28 pounds and the other one weighs about 29 pounds. It is designed to work with some of your larger mountain bike tires and wheels, even though it's not necessarily designed for like a fat tire bike. I think you can go as wide as about three inches on the actual cradles themselves. Overall though, looks really good. And it's adjustable in a couple different ways. And once you have the bicycles off, you can pull this pin out and you can tilt the rack up against the back so it gives you the clearance you need behind the vehicle if you're gonna say park it inside of a garage or inside of a storage area that you need that extra clearance. Overall, it's an excellent value. I mean, the main selling points behind this is the fact that it's a platform style rack, so it's gonna be a lot more secure than the typical bar style that sticks out. It also is very limited in terms of what's actually touching the frame other than the two clamps in the center, and then of course your clamps that wrap around the tires. Um, furthermore, it's very lightweight. It's only about 20 pounds. And then finally, probably the best reason is it's incredibly affordable. You're gonna pay under $200 for a really, really great platform style rack for a two inch receiver, which I think is awesome. Plus it comes with an anti-rattle pin that gives you a lock as well. So you're able to secure it. Very, very cool. Let's take the bikes off real quick, fold it up and wrap the video up. And you just release these clamps down here. Very simple. these are off the bike comes right off this bike right here the one closest to the back you want to hold on to whenever you remove this strap otherwise it can just tilt on you and you don't want it to hit the back of your vehicle okay now finally the way you want to fold this up is to loosen this nut right here lift this off like that 
this will fold down flat. And if you want to fold this up against the back of your vehicle, if you're going to be driving or if you want to just get it out of the way, you simply fold it up like this. Reinsert the pin and it takes up very little room off of the back. I'd say probably about 14 inches off of the back. So very, very compact once you fold it up. Anyways, guys, I'll put a link in the description of this video to this rack if this is something you're interested in. Again, big shout out to eTrailer for providing this for review and evaluation. This is the Hollywood Destination 2 platform bike rack for a two inch receiver. Very, very nice. And at the same time, it's very, very affordable. And that's something I think a lot of people are interested in. Anyways, guys, I will put a link in the description of this video to this product if you are interested. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.